if the mother is not taken proper diet you see the base the reserve is made during pregnancy only so one should be alert at that moment only when you get pregnant Uh, your body requirement increases because there is a fetus in your body mother will also be uh, compromised which her requirement the whole blood supply has to be made the child has to grow inside the fetus has to grow inside the body so if the diet is not proper then there will be some biochemical changes in the body maybe her hemoglobin can fall calcium levels may go down her body mass index will go down bmi will go down and that can lead to general weakness fatigue a lot of irritability uh, for the mother then uh, there can be hair loss then can be brittle nails she might have she can even feel headaches at time not feeling good you know at that time she feels very compromised because the levels of vitamins and minerals and her body markers are going down because of insufficient diet and then the quality of milk also goes down when you are feeding the child if your you are diet is not sufficient your body is compromised then the milk produced will also not be so good so problems like weight loss weight gain can be there then uh, sometimes they might get problems like constipation if food is insufficient mother might get constipation and then constipation related problems and when there is constipation the toxins from the body doesn't leave so every cell everywhere there will be effect of this see for a lactating mother she requires more of calories because uh, normally the milk production uh, in the from the mother is about uh, 850 ml or so and uh, it provides 600 calories human milk 850 ml will provide 600 calories so if the mother is not taking enough diet then her calorie will be compromised and again then same weakness and all problems then she because she's going to give milk to the baby uh, calcium is very important that she gets enough calcium for herself and for the baby proteins are very important the demand goes up for uh, calories i would say she would require something around 500 calories every day extra and for proteins she would require 20 grams of protein then her normal requirement like normal a person takes 1 gram per kg body weight if you are 60 kg you would require 60 grams of protein but if you are lactating you would require 80 grams of protein then there are a uh, few minerals and vitamins which are very important uh, i would talk about iron in this and calcium they are very important uh, iron it doesn't come in the milk but for the mother it's mother's health for mother health her hemoglobin should stay okay iron is very important and calcium of course milk is a good source of calcium now see again i would say that uh, cook taking freshly cooked foods and fresh foods raw foods will be the best thing they should be seasonal and they should be home cooked that's very important uh, not from the market then eggs fish and chicken are very good because these are non vegetarian foods and they have a very high uh, quality of um, biological value of the protein means the body will absorb almost 80 to 90% of the protein which is present in these non vegetarian things so these are important then we have to avoid excess of white sugar for better quality of milk we have to take uh, home cooked good food fresh green leafy vegetables avoid if you talk we have to avoid strongly flavored highly spicy seasoned market foods we have to avoid constipation for her in any case so preferably market food should be avoided very seasoned and spicy food has to be avoided because whatever we are eating will have it will be transferred to the child through the milk it transmits so we have to see that things like alcohol tobacco drugs we should not mother lactating mother should not take that even the father he should also not do smoking where there is lactating mother sitting beside she should not be a passive smoker also if somebody is smoking next to her also gives her that smoke so that also has to be avoided yeah then uh, sugar and sugary beverages they will give you ca- empty calories without nutrients so we have to see that we whatever we eat should get nutrients also so we have to see that we eat food which is full of nutrients for the mother and good for the baby also then cakes cookies 
कैंडीज एक्स्ट्रा शुगरी थिंग्स टू बी अवॉइडेड फास्ट एंड जंक फूड अगेन टू बी अवॉइडेड लाइक मोमोज पास्ताज पिज्जा बर्गर्स दीज आर वेरी प्रिवलेंट टूडे easy french fries we have to avoid these bad fats have to be avoided now if you come to bad fats sometimes uh, the fats which are prohibited they are being used in the processed foods which are being frozen even if you take some cold cuts or something in non vegetarian they use the worst kind of material it's written on that what kind of uh, preservative they are using what kind of coloring or artificial flavoring is being used so every these small small things will also have their role to play see sometimes they hinder with your normal uh, systems working uh, with, there is a lot going on in the body when we eat one thing it gets broken and transformed into many other things and the useful things are being absorbed by the body and harmful being thrown or they get collected and give us problem later so we have to see that everything that we take is fresh and good in quality that is very important processed and packed foods are to be avoided foods with artificial flavorings colorings msg etc because till 6 months the baby is only going to feed on the mother's milk from 6 months onwards we start weaning giving different introducing different foods to the child see i told you the mother requires 500 extra calories and at least 20 grams extra of protein so if she is already not taking that much which is the base so she has to take good three meals if you talk in terms of a layman breakfast lunch and dinner and in between both three times she should have good snacks she has to take lots of water that is also a myth that avoid water but water is not to be avoided she has to take lots of water because she will be producing 850 ml of a milk on an average so that requires some water base and she should see that there is no stress no anxiety she takes sufficient rest and she has a desire to feed the baby you know this emotional stress when the person is under emotional stress that also causes protein catabolism that is breakdown of proteins in the body and then requirement further more increases we have to be happy and that's sufficiently rested well rested and feed the baby enjoy this motherhood now as a vegetarian again we have to take different type of cereals in that we can get use ragi wheat oats and brown rice or quinoa all these fruits uh, cereals should be taken which should be taken in a rotation you can keep changing whatever is available when that you can take then milk and cheese is very good for vegetarians paneer i mean uh, fresh cottage cheese made with milk can be taken and for vegetarians and legumes like whole grains and you know mochik peas like white chana lobia rajma they are very good so a pregnant lady and lactating woman should take all these uh, then there are nuts and seeds to be used like i told you whatever you want to make you can make and uh, roll it up with sesame seeds and then it comes out so well that it looks beautiful and it has got all the required uh, nutrients also and ingredients as such so we have to choose sesame seeds sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds maybe flax seeds walnuts almonds because these things are going to make up for the baby also baby's growth baby's physical growth mental growth all his cells and strengths you know everything will be uh, taken care of with this uh, seasonal fruits and vegetables very important for uh, pregnant ladies and lactating women also they should be seasonal fruits and vegetables taken both the meals uh, good type of fats as i told you sometimes ghee we should use jaggery dates and honey for sweetening a thing eggs are good if a vegetarian person can take only eggs eggs are very good quality protein they can be added in the diet and then there are some foods called galactogogs they help secretion of milk better so if these foods are added in this includes uh, fenugreek so they should be taken every day so that um, whatever has to go should be good quality and good quantity also both ways and we have to steer clear of beer and other alcohol no smoking